Yo, what is up guys? Two people with you back here with another video and today I'm gonna be giving you guys the best lineup, um, the best sharpshooter lineup for about under 600-700k. So the lineup that I put together cost a, like, right around 650k. So it's really easy to make coins in this game, so I'm sure you guys have at least a million coins laying around. Because with all like this lockdown stuff, the sharpshooter stuff, it's really easy to make coins and Propex are super profitable too. So I'm gonna be just showing you guys the best possible lineup for under 700k. Um, for the sharpshooter, and if this video does well, I'll do street and lockdown coming up soon, alright? So, the sharpshooter, I have a whole little, like, nice little layout. I'm sorry my mom's vacuuming if you guys can hear that. The first pickup is super, super cheap. You're gonna pick up one, go to 77 point guard, sharpshooter, and you're gonna want to type in 30k, and then Carson. Carson Edwards is an absolute freaking monster, alright? This card costs 30,000 coins, and he has 79 three-pointer, 80 mid-range, 80 free throw, and 70s all over the board on the right side. Very good card, and if you want to spend a little bit more coins, maybe like 40k, you can get a boost with him. Let me, let me wait for it to load up. I know he has a really good boost. Um, Alright, here we go. Plus one three-point to the team. Um, plus two three-point to point guards. So he has a very good boost. It's a very good card to pick up if you guys want to get a cheap point guard. And actually, do I already have him on my team? Because if I don't, okay, yeah. I already have a better overall player. So that is a really cheap pickup. That's like 30k. So that's 30k right there. The next pickup you're going to want to go 80 overall. Redick. This card is ridiculous. I packed him this morning out of a premier pack and he's starting for me right now. This dude is insane. Bro. 85 three point, 84 mid range. And his the thing is, he's so cheap too. I bet I can't pick him up for 130k. I just checked a little bit ago. He was going for 130. Look at that. 125k. Now, if you want to get the one with a boost, he does cost a little bit more with the boost. Probably 150. Um, he has two different boosts. Okay, so the boost is a little more expensive, but you just, if you just want the regular card, then definitely make sure to pick him up. The boost, okay, plus two mid-range to the team, but I have one that has like plus one three-point to the team, I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh no, mine doesn't have a boost on it. I thought mine had a boost on it, but I guess not. Um, but yeah, that is a very, very, very good cheap card to pick up. Now the next pickup is a little bit more expensive, but the sharpshooter, um, small forwards are kind of expensive. All right. So next you're gonna want to do 250k sharpshooter, um, 80 overall, and then hunter. This card is a monster. All right, 80 overall, and he has 83 point, 84 mid range, 81 free throw, 80 scoring contact, 81 layup, 80 dunking, 83 speed, 83 on ball defense, 80 contested shot. Very, very all around, extremely solid card, and that's pretty cheap too. 250k. It's a little, it's a little bit more expensive than you might want to spend, but again, the forwards and the center is really expensive for sharpshooter. That being said, let's move on to the small forward. You want to go 77 overall. Type in 100k. And then you want to go Jeff Green. This card is a beast. All right. So 100K right here. This card is an all around very good card. 83 offensive rebounding, 84 defensive rebounding. That's really all you need to look at. And he also has a pretty good shot too. 78 mid range, 73 three point, 82 inside the paint shot, 80 on ball defense, 78 vertical. He has a really good, it's, it's a really good card. It's really good rebounding, especially for power forwards. So if you want a really good rebounding power forward, make sure you go check him out for under 100k on my auction house, at least for now. The last pickup is a Thon Maker. All right, so he's a little bit more expensive too. I get, I know centers are extremely expensive, um, but this card is at a monster. Okay, so for some reason the centers have really bad rebounding for sharpshooter. Um, like they're all like 60s, but this card has 279, 82 tipping. Um, 75 on the defense for center, not bad. 81 inside the paint, 77 scoring in contact, 80 layup, 77 dunking. Really good card, and he's tall, he's seven foot tall, so he'll be getting all those rebounds for you. Very good card, I'm gonna see how long this video is. All right, he's a very, very, very good card, and he's super, really reliable. All right, that was really bad grammar, but I'm, I'm starting him, okay? And I'm also starting JJ Redick, so. And I also have um, Jeff Green, which I started for a little bit before. I had uh, Zion Williamson in there. Another really good cheap card to pick up is this Kyle Korver if you don't want to spend 250k on DeAndre Hunter. 75 three point, and he's extremely cheap. Look how cheap he is. Kyle Korver, small forward, and then sharpshooter. Uh, boom, I can pick him up for 18k. So he's super cheap, but that's another option if you guys want. But that is the best possible sharpshooter lineup that I could put together for under 700k. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want a part two for some lockdown lineups, 
or some street lineups, I can definitely do that. Those are a little bit more expensive to do, but the sharpshooter I thought was a really good place to start off with. Um, I got some more videos coming soon. This is a double upload, so make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.